So basically, I got off work early so that I could get back home, change, and get ready to head out. Uh, it was still uh, sunlight around 6 o'clock, but by the time uh, I left, heading towards Tokyo, if you don't know, I live in the suburbs of Tokyo, which is in Yokohama now. So that's like about a, a 30, 40 minute ride, train ride to Rapungi where I was meeting my boys. But, you know, I was really happy to get out the house. I hadn't been out in, in for such a long time. Uh, as you can see, again, I'm, I'm trying to not look too weird, but also record some content for you guys. Um, but it's it's it was a great night and I was really excited to just get out the house and just cut loose. Unfortunately, though, I did have to work the next day. It was Friday night. I did have to work early the next day. So I knew I was not going to be out all night, but I wanted to make the most of the night with my boys. And that's what I tried to do going on a night out into Tokyo, transitioning, of course, you're going to go by train. So I had to hop in the train station and um, on the platform, of course, I got a drink just because I was working the next day. I knew I needed some type of electrolytes in my system to help with the hangover. I am 42 years old. I, I can't deal with the hangover like I used to when I was in my mid 20s. So uh, as periodically throughout the night, I was making sure I was hydrating as much as possible so that uh, I wouldn't have to be a zombie the next day. I live on the Toyoko line, which is my favorite line, train line in Tokyo. It's basically from Yokohama straight into the heart of Tokyo. It's a really major commuter line here, a really chill area, really nice. And Jiugaoka is one of the stations like halfway into Tokyo. It's not really an area that you would go sightseeing in, but if you are in Japan and want to just have a chill afternoon, go to a cafe, hang out in a real in a really kind of residential not too overly crowded vibe this is the place for you it's outside of the yamanote line about let's say 15 minutes by express from uh, nakameguro station or from shibuya i would say it's about 15 minutes 15 20 minutes away from, uh, 15 minutes let's say 15 minutes by express uh, from Shibuya. It's just one train. I wouldn't recommend going out of your way to get there, but um, if you're staying in Yokohama uh, and going into Tokyo, it is worth a stop over there just to hang out, have some coffee, have some food on a weekend or your day off on your trip. So yeah, as you can see, I'm, I'm waiting for the express to come. If you don't know, you have to be careful with the whether you're taking the local or the express. The distance to get the um, to get to your destination varies wildly depending on what kind of train you're taking. I took the local just because uh, until Jiugaoka, just because it's not as crowded. Then I switched to the express to take me um, within uh, one quick transfer to Rapungi to meet my friends. Um, now I was trying my best again to get as much content. I know you guys want to see as much of Tokyo as you can. But I do also understand that Japanese people feel very awkward about being recorded by random people. So I was trying my best to balance the two. And I was very uncomfortable taking this video, but I did it for you guys. So finally, I was able to get to Rapungi after um, about, uh, what is it, like about a 30, 35, 40 minute train ride there. And you know, I just this is what Rapungi Station looks like. It's a it's a subway station, and there you can either go to Rapungi Crossing one way or Rapungi Hills the other way. We were going to meet up at a restaurant in Rapungi Hills, so that's the way I went. Our plan was to have dinner in Rigoletto's and then go Rigoletto, which is a really uh, good, affordable um, spot for people to go to, especially on Friday night. There's a lot of like expats or foreign people that hang out there just because it's you know high up in Rapungi Hills. You can you get a great view. Um, the atmosphere is really nice. The food's pretty decent, and you know the, it's not too expensive. Um, that restaurant is really interesting and I recommend single guys go there if you want to start the night there because they have, we had a table. Um, we made a reservation, had a table, definitely make a reservation on a Friday if you want to go there. They also have a bar area over there. So you can, um, a lot of people go there, stand by the bar and have a few drinks there. Sometimes there are, are Japanese women there if, if you want to try and try your luck with that. I, you know, we were just happy we had a table. We could chill, talk, and hang out, and, you know, just really BS uh, for a couple of hours before going on the next leg of the night. So, yeah, I tried to take a quick uh, video of, of <laughs> and failed miserably at it, <laughs> into, inside, inside Rapungi Hills. Actually, <laughs> now that I remember, I took a lot of footage outside in Rapungi Hills, but, you know, again, I was kind of 
felt awkward about recording all this stuff. And so I didn't push the, the play button, apparently record button. So <laughs> I had like about a minute of just outside Rapungi Hills that I record that I tried to record, but I just failed at that. So whatever. I mean, this is just me getting off the ele- elevator. R- Rigoletto is on Rigoletto is on the fifth floor of Rapungi Hills. So you can just check it out if, you, if you're coming to Tokyo and put that in your itinerary. Um, it's great. I think they have good afternoon lunch and stuff like dinner menu there's a few of them all sprinkled throughout tokyo but the rapungi hills one is definitely the um go-to especially like early evening weekend way to start your evening so me jeff and greg had just finished dinner after dinner and then you know we had a couple drinks in our system we've been laughing talking crazy for a couple hours and then then we're ready to head on the next leg of the trip of course i'm not going to show their faces just because like for their to respect their privacy and things like that and and you'll but we were just hanging out in rapungi hills just talking laughing joking around and we decided to go on the next leg of our trip which was to aoyama so we hopped in a taxi and went to a place called uh, a bar upscale bar called two rooms which is in aoyama now in two rooms we had a great time just talking some more and stuff like that um (laughs) the atmosphere of two rooms is amazing the mojito i had was terrible again i forgot to take content so i just took this terrible picture of um, my mojito it cost about 1800 yen it was the quality was about 500 yen i tend to judge places by the quality of their mojitos and there was absolutely um greg summarized it perfectly there was absolutely no love put into this mojito whatever um so take that with a grain so i think they enjoyed their other drinks that they had but judging by the mojito i did you know um i was not satisfied but um don't let that um put a damper on your image of two rooms i like it a lot mainly for the atmosphere um i would say if you do go there be respectful be a little bit classy in your dress in your atmosphere keep your voice down because it's more of a loungy kind of area it's it's a, it's a straight bar but just keep your voice down don't get all rowdy when you're there because it is in more of an upscale kind of area of tokyo and the the expats there are a bit more of an upscale kind of mature crowd so i tried to snag a quick video on my way on our way out of two rooms but you know it really didn't work the way i wanted it to um so yeah we after that we decided that we were going to uh, head to Shibuya and we we, you know the nightclub talk was heating up so we decided to um walk from uh aoyama to shibuya which is about i'd say about a 20 minute walk you know it it was still hot but it was it was nighttime and we were already pretty getting pretty drunk so we you know we were laughing and having a great time so we really didn't mind it at all and of course as we're walking around you know we we're just talking uh we we stopped by a convenience store had a few beers uh, uh, had one beer, a transit beer, as we as we walked, just because you know to to keep uh, the 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 energy level high. But it's just great just walking around Tokyo when you got a group of friends who know what they're doing. You know, you know where you're going. Uh, you're you you know you you Tokyo is completely safe to walk around at night, especially for a group of guys. Uh, you know, we we we've all been in Japan for a long time. We can speak. We're fluent in Japanese, so. We, we knew exactly what to expect where we were going you know no headaches at all it was just really smooth great vibes high energy we were just having a good time so after about probably 30 minutes i don't even remember we worked our way towards the shibuya again we you're not supposed to drink in shibuya i completely forgot about that new policy um but we were walking while we were drinking beers so i think it's totally fine standing around in front of a convenience store is not cool and probably someone will warn you about that but i think if if you're not being too crazy or too rowdy and just walking to your destination while you have a beer in shibuya i think that's probably fine that's just my impression again if you get in trouble by, about it don't say akil told you but we we weren't harming anybody you know we were just laughing having a, having a good time on friday night we weren't stopping we weren't loitering we were just going to the nightclub so i think if you do it that way it's totally cool so i got completely lost and <laughs> where the nightclub was i didn't it wasn't where i remembered it being and they were like yo what are you, what are you talking about we're going over here and so i was like oh yeah you can tell i'm not in the streets of tokyo anymore so um just right in front of the club there was a convenience store so again i had to work the next day so i was like let me get another sports drink before we go into this nightclub because jeff wanted to drink some champagne and he knows um he knows some of the people in the club so he was able to get us on on 
the the VIP list so uh, we could get him for free. We, you know, we we got a section and stuff like that, which is really really cool of him. Um, but before that, again, I told him I was only going to be there for a few minutes because I had to leave the earliest. Again, making sure you make your last train is essential here in Tokyo. So there was no way I was going to be all out all night when I had to start work at like ten ten o'clock in the morning. Now, we got in just when it opened. I think it was 11 o'clock uh, when it opened. And every uh, w I didn't really get any good epic images or any good videos of us walking in. But basically, when we walked in, everyone was outside on the balcony area. So I'm guessing like they held off on bringing people inside um, early on. That's why it's not really uh, that many people there. But there were so many people outside on the balcony area. Lounge. It's like a balcony outdoor kind of lounge area. It looked really cool, but it was also good for us because we could just walk straight in you know all the staff is like yo brother it's, it's a lot of black dude african dudes who who work security there so they're just like yo hey what's up and i never met them before but you know it'd be nice yo hey what's up you know and, and and they were very hospitable for us going in there we got our seats and just you know um jeff had to say what's up to a few people uh me and greg were just kind of uh hanging out chilling having a few drinks and i, I was able to pick up a few, uh, get a few videos so as you can see, you know, the view, say la vie is up high. You can, it's overlooking uh, Tokyo. You can, you, you can see so much of, of the Tokyo skyline. Um, at this point, I'm like count, literally counting down until <laughs> I leave because I know <laughs> I got to go soon and work is on my mind. But, but of course I wanted to stay. If I could have stayed, I would have stayed. And from, um, from the, the stories next day, Jeff had an epic night. Uh, he was out until like about like early morning, basically, uh, Greg was out until like, I think three something, but again, they, they are more based in central Tokyo. I'm in Yokohama, which is the suburbs. So I couldn't really participate in that. So after drinks at dinner, uh, drinks in two rooms, uh, drinks on our way to Shibuya, some champagne in C'est La Vie. Uh, this is apparently, I don't even remember taking this, <laughs> but you can tell it's a longer video. So I was like drunk enough where I didn't really care about being <laughs> rude anymore. So, um, next time I got to make sure I'm like drunk enough before I start the camera rolling. But yeah, it's just me walking through Shibuya station on my way to get my train on, on my way back home. 